Hey guys, so I'm very excited to share with you my Ulta purchases for 2018. Where are they now? Am I still using them? How much did I spend? What level am I now at Ulta from last year? All your questions will be answered very soon, so let's just what it is that I bought from Ulta this year. So the first things that I bought from Ulta was in April, April 13th. And that is where I purchased my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. This is my favorite liquid foundation and the shade I wear is 3.5. I'm almost done with another one. This may be the other one that I was that I purchased and I thought I was gonna use foundation up a little bit more, but I didn't. I love this stuff though. This is the only foundation that I will use that makes my skin look really good. So I purchased that. Also purchased, and I don't have it anymore, is the Kula Eco Lux Sport Continuous Spray SPF 30 in Pina Colada. This is $36. It is a more pricey sunscreen, but I like the ingredients in it and I like the scent of it. It's so good. I buy it every time I go out on a beach vacation always have to go grab this i'll probably grab it in within the next month or two i'm going to cancun with my husband and i gotta grab some of that before we go but i love that definitely will repurchase then i have the tree, tree height shea sugar scrub in the scent tropical mango now this is a sugar scrub so it doesn't sting like salt scrubs i love sugar scrubs i love the texture of it i love the scent of it on my skin and it just does a really great job at fluffing away all that dead skin on my legs especially in the winter time so i use that up i think in a project pan i would totally repurchase their sugar scrubs tropical mango scent was okay for me not a favorite but I will get that again. And then I have the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil. I still have that. I believe it's under my bathroom cabinet. I just need to reach for it more. I loved the Josie Mark. Mar I love the Josie Moran Argan Oil. This one doesn't compare, in my opinion. The Josie Moran one is a lot better. This one is cheaper, but in my opinion, it's not as good. Then I have a hand cream here from a Delectable. This is the Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream and Vanillas and Cream. It is in a purse somewhere. I do really like it. It's not as moisturizing as what my hands need in the winter time. My hands really do a good job with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That is more of a lotion. It comes in a tube, but they you can put it on your body, face, hands, and that just does the trick for my skin. Um, but I do try and have little hand creams here and there just for that extra added moisturization help in the winter time. Then I have the Pacifica Gem Water Crystal Infused Micellar Water. Now, I love the coconut water, micellar water from Pacifica, but they have been not being available and sold out on Ulta online to order and so i tried the gem one i still have it i'm almost done with it it's okay it has a different kind of scent it has some like fake gems in there to make it gemmy i guess but i wouldn't get it again it's just kind of not the word it's the word not hyped but too much frills not enough action i don't know how to say it but I wouldn't purchase it again. It doesn't do anything wrong. It's a good way of cleansing my skin, helping get makeup off, but I like the coconut water better from Pacifica. Then I have the Kula Classic Face Sunscreen and Unscented Scent, SPF 30. This is $32. I love this for my face sunscreen. Won't use anything else. It doesn't break me out. It's very lightweight. It's not greasy on the skin. My husband lost it when he went golfing with his work buddies, but... I will be repurchasing that. Then I have a big tub of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I'm still working on it. I use that product very sparingly, but I do love it. And I'm really happy I have it. And then I have the, I have a couple things from, for my mom, I think for her birthday or Mother's Day from Bare Minerals that I purchased. And then from BH Cosmetics, I got the Weekend Festival palette. And this was a very fun palette. I use it a lot on vacation um, this past year. These colors are so fun, vibrant, and beautiful. I had a really good time playing with it, and I still really enjoy using this palette. I don't know if they're cruelty-free or not. I feel like they are, but yeah, I purchased that. Then in May, I purchased the Derma E Scar Gel. Now, I did a haul on this video 
on this order and I did use it. It helped a little bit, not tremendously, but I will blame me for that. I didn't use the scar gel as often and frequent as the directions say. So hopefully I can try and do a video, show you guys what my body looks like with the um, stretch marks and scars on them and be a little bit more diligent on that this year. Then I have the NYX Professional Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It's one of the ones that's a duo color and it's blue. You shake it up and apply it. Hands down, one of my favorite eye makeup removers. They, I had a hard time finding this product though again on on Ulta and I clicked on it again on my order and it's not there so I don't know if they discontinued it. It was really good. I'm really good at finding eye makeup removers that I enjoy that get discontinued. Sonia Kashuk and now this one. I'm now trying the Ulta one. It's not my favorite but still gotta keep looking for one. Then I have the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and this is what it looks like. This is one of my favorite everyday makeup powders to set my foundation and it looks stark white but it's actually translucent when you apply it to the skin and it's a very affordable powder i use this like i said on an everyday basis on days i'm going out or want to impress someone or just want to be a little fancy i use my hourglass dim light ambient lighting powder that was a big word um and i use that so the next thing is from Derma E. It's the vitamin C micellar water. I haven't tried it yet. It is still underneath my sink to be tried on. Next thing is somewhere probably in my purse. The NYX Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oil in the shade I woke up like this. Oh my gosh, so nice. I love the shade, love the formula of it. It's so sleek and smooth and like just feels so good on the lips. The color is amazing. Really highly recommend that shade. I want to try more shades, but I just have so many other lip products in my collection. It's not wanting me to go out and purchase them yet. And I bought an e.l.f. Cosmetics blending brush. Don't know where that went. Like, I, it might have left in the old house. I don't know. And then lastly, in that order, I tried the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Hydrating Anti-Aging Makeup Removing Micellar Wipes. And don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Um, they were only $14, but they really didn't do that great of a job for me. Moving on to June, I bought my favorite razor blades, the Gillette Venus Spa 3 Blade Cartridge Razor Blades. These are my go-to, not cruelty-free, but you got to do what you got to do, and those are my jam. Then I had the e.l.f. Cosmetics Daily Face Cleanser. I didn't try that yet. Also got a new cleanser too, the Body Shop Travel Size Tea Tree Skin Clearing Cleanser. Haven't tried that yet either. Then I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Volumizing and Defining Mascara. <laughs> that mascara was horrible. I do not recommend you guys check it out. There's a reason no one talks about it. Then I got the e.l.f. Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter. That was horrible too. Don't, don't check that out. It's in the shade light and gold below. It was so horrible. Coloring was off. Ugh, it was so bad. This order, I wanted to just try a bunch of e.l.f. products and I wanted to do an e.l.f. video, but things I tried were so horrible, I didn't want to even try and do it. Then I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Daily Brush Cleaner. I haven't tried that yet. Then the Eyeliner and Shadow Stick and Brown Basic. Haven't used it. The Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. Haven't used it. I swatched it. And then I have the Matte Metal Eye Primer Transformer and Twinkling Tote. Haven't used it. I don't know. I was like, I had a mindset that I was going to do a video and I didn't. And I didn't test them out. And life got in the way. Maybe I'll play with them a little bit more this year. Then I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Highlighting Dewy Drops. Those were horrible too. It was like grease and glitter all in this product. It was so horrible. Do not recommend that product. Then I have the hydrating water essence. I haven't tried it yet. And then one thing is literally still in the box. I forgot to take it with me to when we went to the beach this summer. This is the Kula SPF 30 Summer Crush. And I'm hoping since I haven't opened it that it will still be good for the summer. So I'm not going to open it yet. So moving on to July, I purchased the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Face Primer. And I believe I used that up. I did enjoy it. It was a nice face primer for me though. The First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. 
is better for me. Then I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Cream and Transforming Natural Beige. I really liked the sample of this. The little pot is $32, which is really expensive, and I noticed that either my skin was getting too dry or the product was a little bit more moussey than I remember the sample being, so I could like see it on my skin, and I like more lightweight foundations or BB creams that just kind of absorb in and blend in and you don't see foundation built up right here. So disappointing. I'm not sure I used it up. It might be in my bathroom somewhere, but did get that. Bought another face sunscreen, so I should have one probably in a beach bag somewhere. And then my beloved, almost done with this, the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream SPF 35 in the shade Light, my go-to every day when I don't want to put on primer and foundation. I love that. Moving on to a later in July, the day after my birthday, I purchased the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I love that. It is so nice. I ha don't have it in my eyebrows now, but I use it on an everyday basis and one of my favorite things from Essence. Then I purchased the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, a really good cruelty-free mascara. Probably one of my favorites, but now that CoverGirl's cruelty-free, I'm gonna go back to getting a couple of their mascaras that I remember loving. Purchased another All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Then I also purchased the NYX HD Finishing Powder. You can tell, haven't opened it yet, so can't tell you guys how I feel about it yet. Purchased a lipstick. This is the Too Faced um, Nude Collection in the shade Birthday Suit. Has a weird kind of coconutty scent, but I love the shade and the formula of this. So nice, the shade right there, and it's so creamy. I like it so so much. Really happy about that purchase. Also purchased a melted matte lip liquid lipstick in Lady Balls. I believe it's a red shade somewhere. Um, love that. The NYX Epic Ink Liner, that was my go-to liquid eyeliner. I do think I like the Physician's Formula one better than that now. Moving into August, that is when I purchased the Physician's Formula Eye Booster, and that is what I'm wearing now. I love it. It's a little bit more expensive than the NYX Epic Ink, but it doesn't smear away as easily. If you have a, like a tear or rub your eyes, it stays on a little bit better. But another Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I go through those a lot and I love them. Then I have a couple of body washes from the Ulta line. I got Fall Festival, Coconut Cream, and Sugared Vanilla. I believe I used up Fall Festival. I've used up Coconut Cream in the past and I enjoy it. And then Sugared Vanilla I think is still underneath my bathroom cabinet to use. I like them. I like them for being cruelty free. I prefer Bath & Body Works. And I, if you haven't seen my Bath & Body Works haul recently, I have decided to continue to buy Bath & Body Works even though they're not cruelty free. Something that me and my family just want to do. So Essence I Love Extreme Volume Waterproof Mascara. Wasn't that good for me. It was very hard to take off, um, which I guess all waterproof mascaras are. But I don't believe it was that waterproof and I just could see my eyelashes falling off when I would take it off. I don't like that. Then I also got another Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara from S. Later in August, I bought, everyone bought the Emily Edit palettes to support Emily Noel. And I got the Needs palette. Looks like this. And I bought the Wants palette. Looks like this. Guys, I've only used it once. I bought it for the hype. I bought it for the support to support Emily Noel. Did I need them? No. Did I really want them? Not really, but I did for the hype and hopefully I can use them more and if not, just pass them along this year. Then I bought the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is for underneath your eyes. Haven't used this yet, so I will let you guys know this year how I like that. And that's that. So that big order was because of those Emily edits and then I needed to add something to my order. Moving on to November. I bought more of those Gillette Venus razor blades. Then that's when I bought the Ulta Waterproof Eye Lip Makeup. Uh, it's not my favorite. Still using it. 
yeah. Then I got another Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. The shade I am is light neutral. I really love this. It's an easy one step product for me for underneath my eyes and any blemishes that I need. So I will continue to get it. Then I got the Kenra Platinum Thickening Shampoo. I haven't tried it yet. I'm still working on my huge verb shampoo I got from Sephora. And then I got from The Body Shop a Seasonal Hand Cream Trio that I've really been enjoying. It has a peppermint scent, a berry scent, and a vanilla scent, and I've been liking them. They're sprinkled all around my house. The last thing I bought from Ulta was in December, and I bought a bunch of Christmas gifts for my husband and my grandparents and I also bought another Smashbox camera ready BB cream for me. So that is everything I purchased from Ulta in 2018 which made me platinum level for 2019. Let me know what level and what products you purchased from Ulta in 2018. Do you have any recommendations for me to try in 2019? I'd love to know in the comments down below and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.